you talking about? Oh my goodness, look at my skin color. Why am I so orange? I look like I'm talking carrot. Alright, let me try to figure this out. Let me turn on some lights. Give me a second. Okay, this lighting looks a lot better. Let's get the mic testing. Testing, one, two. Alright, it's all set. Let's go. Hello to my 100 subscribers out there. Thank you for tuning in. For you who do not know me, I'm Michael Shu, and I'll be your host today. Today, we will be talking about five different tips to help you improve your photography while shooting neon signs. So, let's dive right into it. Without further ado, tip number one is location scout. This is very important because you might think you're able to just go outside late at night and able to find the different neon signs. However, sometimes it's harder than it seems and it might take up more time looking for these signs than you think. So it's really important is that you do your homework and you do your research before you go out. This way you don't waste time spending time searching for these neon signs. What's really good tip is that you can go on Google, Instagram, YouTube and find where all the prime photographers go shoot the neon signs in your location, whatever city you're in. So, do your homework, save time. Boom. Tip number two is use your phone. There's this thing in our pockets that we carry with us most of the time of the day that can instantly help improve and enhance your photos dramatically. And it's this thing called our phones. How you use it is it's really cool and how you use it is that you just put it in front of the camera lens like this and it creates a really cool reflection really unique, really unpredictable colors or patterns. Give it a try and here are some sample shots where I use my phone to create some reflections. Check it out. This was all taken using just a reflection of my phone, right? So number two, use your phone. Tip number three is get down low. I feel like a lot of times we just stand there Whoever stands at the same position takes pictures will normally get a similar shot as you. However, if you go down to a lower perspective, you get to see more colors, especially on a rainy day, you get the reflection off the ground, which is really cool. So my tip right here is just really simple and just go to a different perspective and get down lower and get that shot. So tip number three get down low. Tip number four is use cars. What do I mean by this is that, like earlier I said, when you try to take pictures of lights or neon signs, you wanna get the maximum reflection. This way it creates a unique perspective and a unique look. So when you see cars parked near the sign, try to use the window or the hood of the car to get that reflection off of the sign and this will give you a different look and a different perspective. So try that out and tell me how it goes. For sticking with me all the way to tip number five, the last but not least, and I think the most important tip number five is to go take photos in the rain. When you're, when it is raining outside, the street looks completely different. The ground is wet and it reflects light, people holding umbrellas, and this really enhances the effect of neon signs. Just look at these photos. See that? Just by taking photos in the rain will make your photos that much more dramatic, that much unique, and that much better. So, these are my five tips for you to take better photos of neon signs. As for watching this video, if you guys found that these five tips were super useful, I'd really appreciate if you go ahead and give it a like and subscribe and tag me in the photos that you use these tips on. I'd love to see which tips that you've used and how it helped you improve your photography in shooting neon signs outside. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Michael Shu out. That was so weird. Why did I do that?